Uh, I think it comes down to basically just the opposite ways of thinking. I attack the things and admit the things that I need to fix, and he makes excuses for the things that he's not good at and needs to fix. Every eight losses that he has, the times he has been knocked out, he's trying to hold his thumb up like he wasn't knocked out or <laughs> had some excuse. For That's a nice gesture if he said that, but I, I, I'm, I'm focused on this fight. This is the guy I want to beat up. This is the guy that I'm thinking about. Uh, you know, there's plenty of fights for me in the future, and TJ's, I'm sure, one of them, but Cruz is who I'm thinking about. I've been whooping Where you. were you? Where were you? I was out there working yeah, as an analyst. I retired. You were working. Yeah, I retired, and I came back and won the belt against the guy that you were too scared to face because you know you can't comedy. beat him, and you still don't want to talk about him. Anytime it's brought up, you run and divert the energy to some other question. You refuse to answer I don't care or ask what about the hell you think it. Somebody about else that. asked you me because no he won't talk to me about it. He won't tell the truth why he won't why he wouldn't face that guy, but now he's willing to throw him under you the bus. You want to know the truth? I'll, want me to tell you right now? Why wouldn't you fight him? Because I brought him up from the very inception of, of the sport until him winning the championship, and he was on my team, and I trained with him every single day. Then he left the team, no longer on my team. You see the difference? You he's don't? not on your team, so why wouldn't you fight for the belt? That's what matters. That's Did where the money's at. Did you just hear what at. I said? You know, I'm terrible at looking into the future. I'm a now guy. I'm living the, in the moment. Um, you know, I actually like Connor. He's got a mouth on him. I love talking back and forth with him. He's got some wit about him. He's got a weakness for Northern California fighters, and he's got a weakness in his submission game. We, we know that. He's a powerful dude. Come back to, bo I mean, stay away from boxing, Connor. I mean, not that he can't do great over there, but this is the sport he loves. This is the sport he's been training for. Uh, there's a couple big fights, and I've told these guys before, look, I've been in this sport a long time. I've fought the guys that that didn't do anything for me, didn't didn't move the needle a, a bit, didn't even, you know, people weren't excited for it. I was having trouble getting excited for it. I fought those guys because that's that's what was given to me, and, I, and I've never turned down a fight. I've never never pushed away a fight. You did turn down I, a fight. I want I want I want the fights that you matter. Will continue to turn down. And I don't know what that timetable looks like. And I've told these guys at the UFC brass that I want the big fights, the fights that's going to put money in their pockets and turn money in my pockets and, and, and staple me as one of the best of all time.